Hi, this is Crystal. This is Crystal's Hillside Creations, and we are going to crochet, left-hand crochet, the uh, waffle stitch dish dishcloth. This pattern can be found on yarnspirations.com, and you need one ball of yarn or 92 yards. You can either use sugars and cream or peaches and cream. Today I am using green stripey, green stripes, peaches and cream. And you will need a size G or 4.5 millimeter. And you will also need snip scissors and a needle. Okay. Okay, first you need to make a slip stitch or a slip knot. Pull tight, and you need you need chain thirty four. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I am at chain thirty four. And let me get my hands right again. Okay, from the fourth chain from the hook, you need to put a double crochet. And a double crochet in each chain to the end. All right, coming to the last one on my chain, put a double crochet. We got all the chains. All right, so now we're gonna chain three and turn our work. And then we're gonna put a double crochet in the very first one. And then we're gonna put a front post double crochet in the next stitch. Oops. And then we're gonna put two double crochets in the next two stitches. And then another front post double crochet in the next and repeat till you get to the end. Okay, we're coming to the last three stitches. So we're gonna do a front post double crochet and then we're gonna put two more double crochets. And don't forget the top of that chain three. That chain three counts as a double crochet. So now we're gonna chain two and turn our work. We're going to put a front post double crochet in that very first one. And then you're going to put a double crochet. And then you're going to put a front post double crochet and another front post double crochet. Then you're going to put a double crochet in the next one. And then you're going to repeat this pattern till the end. Two front double pro two front double crochets, double crochet. Okay. Okay, we're coming to the end of row three. So we've got a double crochet. The next one is a front post double crochet. And in the final one is a half double crochet. And make sure you get it in the top of that chain three. 
and then chain three and repeat. And that is what you get. And so repeat rows two and three until you get it big enough as, as you want. Okay. Okay, we're gonna pretend that I am finished with my washcloth. You want to chain 15, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then you're going to slip stitch. Oops. You're going to slip stitch back into your into your loop here. Drop a loop and join and you can finish off right here or you can choose to go around just evenly space your single stitches. And I put two single stitches in the ends, in the corners, like this one. This one is a, it's, it's got two single stitches in the corners all the way around. You should have enough to go all the way around if you're using the, this size hook. If you're using a bigger hook, you won't have enough to go around. All right. Like and follow. Thanks, guys. You can follow me on Facebook, too, also. Okay, bye.